two, easy mind, easy life. Okay, so I just stumbled on a little thread in the previous one talking about judgment and criticizing others and all that sort of stuff. And then it came to me, I realized. <laughs> um, part of growing up is learning to judge and criticize and when you do that you're always looking at something outside of you you're judging something that's wrong or right or good or bad or it's just different to what you were taught basically right what they're doing is different to what you grew up with but in judging every time we judge and we label something as good or bad or right or wrong we're not looking at it through the eyes of love we're looking at it through the eyes of fear and a lot of time that fear comes out of ignorance we don't know anything about them we don't know anything about that what it is that we're judging and criticizing and going on about right because uh, one of the reasons I put together those Reiki videos was because I got a really random email about Reiki and I thought this person doesn't know anything about it that's why they're, they're going on about it right and uh, and I thought how sad right because it is such a beautiful way of life you know if everyone adopted it there would be no more wars you know there would be no reason <laughs> because we would have no reason to do anything but be kind to everybody and to every living thing you know we wouldn't need to yeah basically you know just be kind to everyone and every living thing and pretty much all the other principles are be present because this moment is all you've got the past has happened yes it has happened and we can go back to see what the lessons were that we were meant to learn because without that we're just going to keep repeating them right and so today ask yourself when you find yourself repeating something that really frustrates you or really gets you cranky or whatever it is ask yourself do I really want to repeat this again do I want to keep repeating this pattern and then just take a deep breath take a deep breath slow down do I really want to keep repeating this pattern is it serving me does it make me happy to keep repeating this pattern then why is this pattern still showing up in my life what is it that I'm still attached to that is creating this pattern in my life that's what you really need to look at that's what the past is all about <laughs> really we had all these beautiful moments with all these beautiful messages for you of what you were meant to learn here what you were meant to experience here what the experience was really about and we never taught that you know so we go through our adult life and we feel like groundhog day like it just keeps repeating and repeating i spent years like that where it felt like the next year was the same as the one before and the one before that and the one like nothing was changing everything felt like it was on repeat right and it didn't matter if I changed jobs it didn't matter you know what I did it just felt like a repeat of the year before inside me that's how I felt like I was just repeating and repeating and I got to a point where I just knew the next year was going to be the same so why bother doing the new year's resolutions that year i didn't even bother it was like no i'm just going to get the same thing again so <laughs> all the while i had the power to change that but i didn't know that you know nobody told me nobody gave me the memo that you can look at what you've done like what you've been through and there's beautiful lessons there for you and when you understand what you were meant to learn from them then you can move on with a different awareness, with a different consciousness, a different level of consciousness. Because you have all that knowledge now from your past, you see what that was for. So you can move on to the future. And there's no worry about the future because of your level of awareness. You know, you're on a different level now. That it's like nothing matters. What comes, comes. If it comes good, if not, fine. You know, it's all good. That's the beauty of it, when you understand life. 
and you understand the lessons of what you were meant to come and experience. Whatever comes is good because you know you chose it on a soul level. Your soul, your spirit already chose this so that you, you know whatever comes, it's good because I wanted to have that experience. I wanted to know what that felt like. That's what I came here for. And with that, there is no good or bad. There is no right or wrong. It just is. That's what I came here to experience. Wonderful. So let's do that. You know? Every time we judge, every time we criticize, we come from a place of fear, from a place, place of pain, you know, some kind of sadness, something that's still unresolved. Because when you understand what life is about, what we're really here for, there's no need to judge or criticize. You understand that everything here has a purpose. Everything here is on its journey. And all to the same place. None of us get to, you know, is there anyone that's been able to stay here forever? and didn't get to die, you know? Doesn't happen. The destination's the same. We're all going to the same place <laughs> at the end. We're all gonna die. No one gets to avoid that. That's there. That's at the end, okay? That's the end. That's the end of the game. You got to the end, finished, you're dead. <laughs> right? That's the end. There's no more after that. Not of this life, anyway. We all have that. We all get to be born. We all get this life to experience, every single one of us. And we all have an end. We have a beginning, we have a middle, and we have an end. We all have our story along the way. Our experiences, our journey. And everyone has chosen a different journey. Everyone. Some of us have come to see what it feels like to be wealthy and famous. Wonderful. <laughs> but at the end of it, they still have the same exit. They don't get a pass because they're wealthy and famous. You know? It's all the same. It doesn't matter what life you've chosen. You all have a journey. You all came to have certain experiences. And it's up to you before you get to the end. If you wake up to understand what that journey was all about, it's up to you. You can do that. Or you can just keep going on the journey and enjoying. It doesn't matter if you wake up or you don't wake up. It doesn't matter. It's your journey. Do with it what you want. There's no right or wrong. It doesn't matter. It's your life. You do with it what you want. All right, my darlings? These little videos are like little seeds that are being planted. I always think of them as little seeds because that's how I remember when I used to read the Conversations with God books by Neil Donald Walsh. And for a long time they did. They sat and they germinated in my brain just sitting there very slowly <laughs> but eventually they sprouted you know little seeds so think think of it that way even if today you know you hear a message and you think well it doesn't make much sense or it doesn't re really resonate with me today it's a seed it's being planted all right my darlings I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.